After you install the Pivot Power Premium add-in, you'll find it on the Add-ins tab. There's a Pivot menu. Click that and you'll see all the menu items and when you point to one you'll see its sub-menu with the commands. To start, you should go to the Formatting menu and click Set Defaults and a window will open with four tabs across the top and in here you can add check marks or remove them for your preferred default settings. So these are the things that you would have to go into Pivot Table Options and set there every time you create a new pivot table. With this feature you're able to save those and then apply them all in one click to any pivot table. So we've got pivot table settings, some for pivot fields, and also just for your convenience, I've set up some options for your workbook, preferred settings, and the worksheet. The only one that isn't a check mark is the number of items to retain, and that's how you want to treat old items in your pivot table. So if you've changed the dates for all the items, do you want to still see those old dates or should they just disappear? So if you don't want to see the old items, choose none or you can choose default or max. I like to go with none and once you've made all the default setting selections, click OK and then click in any pivot table on the pivot menu, go to formatting and apply defaults and it's going to change all your settings here. For most of the commands, they will only apply to the selected pivot table. If you don't have a pivot table selected, then any pivot table on the worksheet will be affected by the commands. And if there are exceptions to that, you'll find those in the user guide. It, it would say only the pivot table or you must select a pivot cell for this to work. For example, to apply the default settings, you have to have a pivot table cell selected. If I so select apply defaults, without that, I'll get this message. Another new feature here is if I copy this pivot table, I've now got two pivot tables from the same source data. And if I add the date field here, it comes in as individual dates. So if I group that in this pivot table, show it by months, once I go back to this pivot table and put dates in, it's also grouped automatically. So if you want to separate one pivot table from another, you can select a cell in here and go to the pivot menu, click cache and create new cache. And now this is a separate pivot cache. If I go back to my add-ins pivot and cache, the cache count now is two. So there are lots of commands to explore in here, too many to show in a quick overview. But check the user guide for a list of what's in here and how it works. And I hope you enjoy the Pivot Power Premium add-in.